in this section we will be looking on the bar chart so this is basically the image i was trying to find out some good icons uh, for a male and female so this is one uh, image i found out on google images so i really like the way the graph uh, was actually done and this is basically the graph chart so we'll work on this and see if we can design right? let's minimize it and keep it here so that we can uh, scroll up and see whether we are matching up the requirement or not okay so we have got male and that is 60% Sixty percent as male, and uh, let's take total will be hundred percent. And then we have got a female for forty percent. Okay. As if now forty percent, let's take it, and then total again will be hundred percent. Okay. Now we need to have a dynamic chart. Okay, because uh, we are working on visualization for dynamic charts only. So let's make it a way to describe it as one minus 40%, that is 60%. Okay. So one minus, uh, let's make it more attractive. Okay. So whatever the changes in male is happening, it will, uh, the female will be changing accordingly. So first thing first, we need to go and prepare a graph chart. Okay, so we have got a bar diagram here, 2D bar. Okay. Now in this 2D bar, we are seeing total and male. Now the range is from 100 to 120%, 0 to 120%. So by default, Excel takes a space a little more. Okay, we need to correct it and put it as 100% only. Okay, so we have got total, we have got male, okay. and then we will uh, switch the rows and the column. Okay, 100% remains it. So let it be like this. Okay, so there are different ways of uh, making this chart. Uh, I'm using one of the way. And then we have, uh, let's, we want to put an icon here. Now icon, uh, if you see this image that we have downloaded from Google, let's put it here, let's save for the keep on changing. So we have that mail icon here. Okay. Now for, for we have to position the icon in some way. Okay. So we can position this as this minus a little, really little towards the left. Okay. So it will be this into 0. 0.5. Point five. Okay. Zero point zero five. Okay, so it has moved a little bit later. Okay, let's copy this and put it here. Okay. And then we have got the icon. Okay. Now we will go to the chart again. Click on uh, this is space. Okay. And then we will add data on this okay so select data and add okay. the series name will be icon okay. and we need the data that will be coming here okay. so we have got three uh, bar diagrams one we have got total one we have got as uh, the females and then we have got the icon that is 57 percent we can go again in the cell data and put the total on a move up. up. Okay. So we have got total, we have got the mail, and then we have got the icons. Okay. I have to select this and go to change series chart data. Okay, and convert the last one that is the icon to a scattered plot. Okay. The moment we convert it into scattered plot, as since the value is 57%, okay, and we know that it takes a little larger, we are getting the 
I come here, right? So we need to convert it into uh, change the data type. Just a moment and to an access, okay, access option, and make it as hundred percent. Okay, now it's falling around fifty-seven percent, right? We'll go again to the data, select data, and edit the icon one. Okay, earlier what we did is basically we uh, we selected the uh, bar diagram. Okay, now when we have converted into a scatter plot, it will be requiring the x and the y value. Okay. So we'll just cut it. Okay, and put as uh, zero point five, and whatever with the value we have cut, we'll paste here in the x axis. Okay. Now uh, this value will be uh, fifty-seven percent, and this is actually fifty percent. Okay, click OK. So we have got here as series. Okay. Now uh, we need to uh, put it like this, so it will be uh, on the total. This will be overlapping. Okay. So we need to go on this data, okay. and series overlap hundred percent. And gap within, let's put it at zero. Okay. Why we are putting it as zero is that the space that has been occupied here. Okay. So if it is take as hundred percent. Okay. We have got some space here on the top and the bottom. So if in if we set this, uh, squeeze this up. Okay. The entire graph will also be squeezed up. Okay. So if we uh, do one thing that we use this entire space. Okay. So uh, it will be uh, the bar chart. Uh, the graph will be equal to our uh, ch uh, chart that we are we are able to see it. Okay. So I'll just go here and make it graph in between as zero. Okay. So it is taking the entire space, right? And then we can remove all this uh, axis. Okay. Removing the axis helps us in. Okay, remove the grid lines and the axis and everything. Okay. Now this is you see yeah, it is taking the entire shape here, and then we can size it according to our requirement. I have got some icons here. Okay, for male and female. Okay, so this can be a male. So before that, uh, let's uh, do some more changes. You see that the lines or the box are, are curved here. Okay, so we can. Insert a shape here. Okay, let's this be the shape. Okay. What we'll do is to just control and copy this all this data. Let's re uh, reduce the size of this and just to let's make uh, fill this color by. Uh, slightly as light blue, and shape outline will be no outline. And we can add the other color. Uh, let's see, we have got a more color. Let's see, pink, like pink. So to represent the females. Okay, let this be a little towards the lighter blue, okay, and this towards the, a deeper pink. Okay. So, since this is for the male, what we'll do is to select the outer one, uh, select this copy. And select the outer one and paste it. So we have yeah, replaced that. Okay. For this, we'll copy this one. Okay. So shape format. And Now in the lo uh, second part, what we need is to add the data label. Okay, so we'll add the data label. Add data label. It will come outside by default. Double click on this, you'll find that uh, data. 
it will put it inside the base let's change the format of this okay let's uh, check uh, font for impact okay. this looks a little bolder one okay. and then let's color it as white now we have done this and then copy this data and change this line this data. so we have got 60 percent male and that will be the data that will be shown now let's uh, put this delete this it's not required put this here and now just copy this and paste it and then we need it to edit the data go to the select data mail edit we have got the female here in place of males and the data series will be this and ok and then we have to change the icon edit the icon will be this one and we need to change the data as that is possible okay. rest all the things remain the same and we create it ok now we need it to replace this Control C, Control V, Control C. Uh, we have got uh, Control C and then Control V as best. And then we have got the image of the lady. Control C and replace it as Control V. Thus, on this, we need to add the data level. Add data label. Double click on this towards the inside of the base and then change it to impact and then increase the font size as per our requirement or depending upon things we want to design. And that's it. Okay. So depending upon the size of the uh, box we can draw this and we have got this male and female next to each other so if the male is increasing or decreasing by 75 percent there is change in the female too okay and if it is decreasing in his then there is increase in the males on the females too so this is dynamic as well as representation of the data is the